Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for what is probably going to be a shorter video compared to my recent uploads, but one that I felt like I had to make, because out of nowhere the other day a Star Wars 3D platformer about a Jedi disguised as a clone was brought to my attention, and it felt like it came out of nowhere, at least that's how it felt to me, but in reality this game, Star Wars Redemption, has been in production with a small team of diehard fans and game developers for almost a decade. Unfortunately for me, I'm currently suffering from severe emotional whiplash from learning about this project because I started out with extreme excitement that went hand in hand with me trying to figure out where I could download this thing and play it for myself. But then my excitement was murdered in cold blood, beat to death with a frying pan in broad daylight, when I realized what happened to this game just a few months ago, which we'll be discussing in a minute. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel for this project, which is why I wanted to make this video. I want to show this project some support. First, I do need to give a shout out to Charlie from the channel X2. He discussed this game the other day, and if it weren't for him, I probably never would have even heard of it in the first place, so his video is linked down below if you do want to check it out. Anyway, the story behind the development of this game is absolutely wild, and I was shocked to find out that most of what you are seeing right now was done by just two people as a passion project, and the amount of work they've put into this is astonishing. It started out eight years ago as nothing more than a concept, a Jedi named Maven who would sometimes disguise herself as a clone within her own legion during the Clone Wars. The planned storyline was huge, from the Clone Wars to Order 66 and a final return to Coruscant in the aftermath of Order 66. The project grew bigger and bigger to the point where just looking over everything they've managed to complete is almost overwhelming. It's insane that two people in their spare time created as much as these guys have from scratch. In the current build of the game, you travel from planet to planet as Maven alongside your clone legion, and what they've built so far incorporates basically everything you could ever ask for in a Star Wars 3D platformer. Maven has a ton of different skins and in-depth customization, and as far as abilities go, she can jump, double jump, you can fly with a jetpack and even use your saber at the same time, and she also has a huge range of attacks and force powers, all at your disposal. You can also go with various fighting styles, such as a single lightsaber or a lightsaber and a blaster, or you can just go all in and dual wield sabers, all of which can be used against the many enemies the redemption team has created from scratch. Those enemies include droidicas, battle droids, vulture droids, all of the usual enemy types you'd see during the Clone Wars, and all of these models were created from the ground up in the super unique art style these guys have put together. It's kind of a mix between the Clone Wars TV series and what you'd see in a modern day 3D platformer. I mean, these models look amazing. If EA dropped a 3D platformer in this art style, I would love it. And these were all made by primarily two people. It's insane to think about. There are also several variations of each enemy type, which is insane considering how small of a team worked on this project. There's a standard droidica and a big chungus droidica that is more of a threat. And there also seems to be countless variations of the battle droids, like a dozen or even more. They've also put together friendly units to fight alongside Maven, including ARC troopers, jet troopers, and other members of your clone legion, the 414th, which is Maven's specific legion. I'm not sure if the clones are playable or are just friendly AI, but either way they have a huge range of animations that are really something to look at. You'd also have your own apprentice during the game, and a mysterious Sith-like figure hunting you down from planet to planet. I mean, it sounds like a dream come true. This game is right up my alley. One of the most impressive things about this game, at least to me, is that you can freely get in and out of your starfighter and visit a nearby capital ship, which seems to act as the central hub of the game, and your clone legion will follow you there. You can also choose which ship you want to fly. If you want to stick with your personal starfighter, that's fine, but if you prefer an ARC-170, go for it. There are different options waiting in the hangar bay of your capital ship. The capital ship also has a training room to practice your various abilities, a storage room which seems to be for collectibles, and even a personal room for Maven where you could rest, I assume. Very recently, they've also been working on other modes of transportation on the ground, such as speeder bikes, which obviously aren't fully finished, but man, it all just sounds so perfect. Obviously, this game isn't nearly as big as Fallen Order, and Fallen Order didn't have maps that would have worked well with ground vehicles, but I just love the idea of an open world Star Wars game where you can just hop in and out of a starfighter or a speeder bike, or whatever vehicle is lying around. The world is yours to explore without limits. The idea of just freely traveling from space to ground has basically been a non-stop request of every Star Wars game of the last decade. In Battlefront 2, traveling from the ground to a capital ship is just a cutscene, and in Fallen Order, your ship is just a static object on the ground, and traveling consists of a glorified cutscene inside the ship. 
You can walk around, but you aren't in control of the ship and you don't really do anything until Grease tells you to sit down or else he'll beat you up. It didn't really bother me while playing Fallen Order or anything, but I think everyone would agree that freely flying from planet to planet would have been pretty great. It would have added another dimension to a game most people already found to be pretty solid as is. Anyway, at this point, you're probably wondering what I even meant a few minutes ago when I said my excitement for this game was cut short, but unfortunately, the reason for that is that Star Wars Redemption quietly shut down production just a few months back. One of the two lead developers left the project, and the remaining dev, his name is Etienne, decided to shut down production, as I understand it, because he felt burnt out and that he couldn't finish Redemption by himself, which is understandable. It's a huge undertaking, and while this game is far into development, it isn't close to finished by any means, and I'm sure with the team down to just one person, I'm sure that's a very overwhelming project, and it'll be a real shame if Redemption never sees the light of day, considering just how much love has clearly went into this game. I definitely would encourage you guys to show this game some love in the ways that you can. I have Redemption's website linked in the description, as well as the main developer's YouTube channel where he has gameplay and a showcase of a ton of the Star Wars stuff he's been working on. I honestly really wish I could play the current build for myself, as what's done right now just looks so good. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Definitely a shorter upload than usual, but I really wanted to get this out and I wanted to get more people talking about this game. Also, just a quick announcement, but starting this week, my upload schedule will be changing pretty drastically. Usually I upload about two videos a week, maybe three every two weeks, something like that. But as of this week, my new upload schedule will be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Three videos a week whenever I can. Obviously, if there's news on a certain day, that schedule is flexible, but on your average week, I'll be posting those days whenever possible. Also, we do have a quick sponsor at the end of this video, Displate. These guys produce really awesome and extremely high quality metal posters, and they are officially partnered with most major brands you can think of. Marvel, Star Wars, DC, you name it, and they probably have officially licensed displays of that brand. A couple months ago, they sent me a shipment of their posters. They had told me to pick out three, which I did. One from Star Wars, of course, one from my favorite single player game, and one from my favorite show. However, when the shipment arrived, I was shocked to find out they had sent me not three, but a dozen displays, including seven different Star Wars designs, each of which are so cool. And even though I already have over 10 displays, there's been a bunch of other designs on their website I've had my eye on. In the time since then, I've had the chance to put up the three displays I picked out, and I was just so surprised at how easy they are to install. They come with everything you need, just simple magnets with an adhesive, and you can adjust the display as many times as you need on those magnets to make sure it's perfectly installed, so it's a stress-free process. They also have multiple different sizes, so whatever your needs are, Displate probably has you covered, and no matter the size, the prints are so high quality because these are officially licensed products. If you want to pick up some displays for yourself, which I highly recommend, all you have to do is use my link down below in the description to score yourself 20% off your entire order. You don't have to enter any code as long as you click my link in the description to head over to their website, the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. Alright guys, with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and could leave a thumbs up, I would definitely appreciate it, and if you are new around here, feel free to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh.